This is Ron Wade, and uh, just picking up where I, where I left off on the theory of relativity. Uh, as, as I tried to figure out how did how could four and three or seven become perpetual, and how could middle C fit because you cannot become perpetual from the third note out of seven. It's it's impossible. It's not logical. Um, as I took a double lot domino, I saw, and, and I just started at A, and, and I went to B, so I had to lay sideways to get two steps as a whole uh, to get to the next note, and in order to maintain continuity, I had to invert, but I also reversed polarity. And then you do the same thing at E, uh, you invert again, and then you reverse polarity again. Uh, I'm not sure <laughs> any man has ever realized that. <laughs> that immediately led uh, me to uh, Albert Einstein. It was everything is relative. It was a relative start. And so I had to start at A in order to see uh, uh, what might have transpired as a musical scale became perpetual. So that's what I wanted to understand, perpetual infinity. And uh, I built it on a spreadsheet, so that's pretty cool. Okay, signing off.